Matthew 27, verse 31 through 33. Then they proceeded out to the crucifixion. Along the way they came on a man from Cyrene named Simon and made him carry Jesus' cross. Arriving at Golgotha, the place they call Skull Hill. Matthew 27, verse 37. Above his head, they had posted the criminal charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Matthew 27, verse 54 through 66. The captain of the guard and those with him, when they saw the earthquake and everything else that was happening, were scared to death. They said, this has to be the Son of God. There were also quite a few women watching from a distance, women who had followed Jesus from Galilee in order to serve him. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the Zebedee brothers. Late in the afternoon, a wealthy man from Arimathea, a disciple of Jesus, arrived. His name was Joseph. He went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Pilate granted his request. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in clean linens, put it in his own tomb, a new tomb only recently cut into the rock, and rolled a large stone across the entrance. Then he went off. But Mary Magdalene and the other Mary stayed, sitting in plain view of the tomb. After sundown, the high priests and Pharisees arranged a meeting with Pilate. They said, Sir, we just remembered that that liar announced while he was still alive, after three days I will be raised. We've got to get that tomb sealed until the third day. There's a good chance his disciples will come and steal the corpse and then go around saying, He's risen from the dead. Then we'll be worse off than before, the final deceit surpassing the first. Pilate told them, You will have a guard. Go ahead and secure it the best you can. So they went out and secured the tomb, sealing the stone and posting guards. <laughs>